Hi guys, welcome back to 10 out of 10, a lifestyle channel featuring 9 of my other girls. Today, we're going to be talking about our favorite skincare products. I know a lot of us like to talk about that, especially during COVID, we're not putting on makeup as much anymore. So skincare has been the thing that we go to. The skincare can range from cleansers to moisturizers to face masks and lip stuff. So if you guys are into that, just keep watching. For me, I'm actually oily slash combo. I'm oily over here and on my T-zone. And in the winter, I usually get dry over here. My favorite skincare product is a cleanser. Having a really good cleanser is one of the most important steps in your skincare routine because if you don't have a really good cleanser, you'll still leave some dirt and excess oil on your face. And then you'll have to layer it with other skincare products which will not work as well. So my favorite cleanser is the Drunk Elephant Bestie Jelly Cleanser. This is the mini travel size and this is the regular size. Drunk Elephant is actually cruelty free which I love 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 because all the products that I use are actually cruelty free. It removes any traces of makeup left on your face, it removes excess oil, some dirt and pollution, everything in between. I usually just use this at night because I only rinse my face in the morning and then put my moisturizer slash SPF on top. It works with all skin types. It works with oily skin, dry skin, combo sensitive. This is just powerful as it is. I highly recommend it. It's really, really good. It has a gel-like texture. The only downfall is the price. I think it's 30 something to $40 Canadian. It is a little bit pricey for a cleanser, but honestly, you're paying for the quality and you're paying for, yeah, you're paying for the quality. <laughs> and that is why Bestie Jelly Cleanser is my favorite skincare product. My favorite skincare product has to be the Fenty Skin Fat Water Toner Serum. It looks like this and I have used half of it, but I bought this in January and I don't even use it sparingly, like I, I use it a lot. I'm gonna demonstrate how to use it. So you just twist the cap and then you can go like this to get it out, but I literally just squeeze it out. That's how much I put on, I don't know if you can see. That's how much I put on, you just apply it to the skin. So you wash your face and then you put this on. It's a toner and serum in one. That's why I really like it. It like hydrates my face and usually toners kind of like strip the moisture out of my face. The serum in this, it feels amazing. So who doesn't love a two in one action? You know, it says it instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark circles, evens skin tone, and fights shine without stripping skin. So yeah, it really does help my skin feel like plump after. Because you know when you wash your face, it like kind of feels dry. After I use this, it just feels like there's a good like layer on my face so that I can put my moisturizer on top of this and then sunscreen after that. Even though I bought this like five months ago, it's I only used like half of it and I, and I use like a big chunk. Like you guys saw how much I put on my hand. Like it's just so good, you know? Like Rihanna knows what she's doing. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend Fenty Skin Toner Serum Fat Water. All my skincare products are from the body shop and the reason why i love the body shop so much is because one they are cruelty free which is really amazing and two most of their skincare products are made of natural ingredients so my skin is combination skin which is oily dry and sensitive oily mainly on my t-zone area and dry and sensitive throughout the rest of my skin the product that i'm going to be recommending to you guys is from the jobs of youth collection which is the Jots of Youth Youth Concentrate, which helps with environmental protection. So this product is 99% of natural origin, which is made up of natural oxidants and plant stem cells. It does help protect my skin from any indoor and outdoor pollution. It does have this thick gel-like texture compared to the other serums that I use. But what I do love about this is that you really just need two drops to apply all over your face. I apply this product morning and night ever since i've been using this i've had very very minimal breakouts the price point for this product 
is a little bit on the pricier side which does cost $39 for this bottle but for just the small bottle itself it does go a long way and overall it does help my skin have this healthy smooth and useful glow I definitely recommend the favorite skincare product I'm gonna be talking about is this discoloration correcting serum from good molecules and there's two ingredients that help with the discoloration and scarring that I got it for, which is, I can't pronounce it properly, but transexamide and diamondside. And I definitely have seen the improvement in my skin after using it. Nothing too drastic, but very subtle. And I'll show you the before and after. It's been about two months of using it. And so you can definitely see the inflammation and the redness has like been less. I think if I continue using it, there will be more of a bigger change, but it has helped a lot. And I use it before my moisturizer after my toner it does what it says it'll do and so that's why I really enjoy it and do recommend the only things I don't like is that shipping to Canada it does take a while because of customs and all of that it took about three weeks for it to come to me there is a lag in your skincare routine and steps because you have to let this absorb is one of the instructions that's the thing I don't like about it but it has shown a difference in my skin has helped a bit I'm gonna continue using it I'm only halfway and it's about a little over two months so yeah I recommend so for my skincare product I want to say that I usually really like facial oils so to preface that my skin type is oily but dehydrated and so it can look dry but it feels oily so it's never a good combination plus I am very acne prone so especially during my period I break out so much and I have like all these old spots because of that even right now like I'm getting this spot not from my period but from wearing an N95 all the time at work. I usually like to use a concoction of two products. This is the Ordinary Argan Oil, 100% Vitamin E Oil, and then I just put them in here. I know it's kind of cheating because it's technically two products, but I put it in here and I mix it up and this is what I use at night. I find that it really helps with hydrating my skin, but also kind of fighting the breakouts with the antifungal properties of the argan oil as well as fighting the dark spots which is what vitamin E oil does. As a precaution with argan oil you gotta be careful because sometimes it can be really oily but these are two pretty cost effective and this lasts a pretty long time in this size so yeah. I have sensitive dry skin mainly because it's I have eczema which is a mild skin rash condition had it since I was born and it's been very hard trying to find skin creams that are good for me and I came across this one and it is actually the CeraVe renewing SA cream for extremely dry rough and bumpy skin so I use this religiously it is my number one go-to you know I cannot go a day without moisturizing my face. I need to. Um, so I definitely recommend that. The only downside to this product is that it does not have any SPF. And right now we all know that SPF is like mandatory. You need to have it. So I started using the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion SPF 30. Um, I don't like using just this just because I feel like it's not enough for my dry skin. So I actually kind of combined the two just to make sure that I'm getting the coverage for the SPF as well as the moisturizing. So what's also great about these products is you can find them at any local drugstore. They are completely affordable. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on them. 10 out of 10 would recommend for anybody that's low maintenance that just needs like some good moisturizer for their sensitive skin. For me, I'm still trying to figure out what my skincare routine is and what products are best for the type of skin that I have. I have combination skin, meaning my T-zone are pretty oily, but my cheeks are really dry. Last year, I tried this product and I actually really like it. It's Yore UV. It's a sunscreen or an SPF. I actually bought this product because I was looking for sunscreens for my type of skin and I saw this featured on Michelle Phan's IG Reels and she mentioned it and I trust her so if you're not going to take my word on it 
you can take Michelle Bond's word on it. I guess it works for me so far, no complaints. <laughs> the labeling is all in Japanese. If you understand Japanese packaging, please let me know. I can finally do that <laughs> influencer thing. What I like about it, it has a gel-like consistency. I find that most sunscreens have that heavy, oily, cream kind of feeling, and it always has that white cast that shows on your face but I really like it because it's not oily it applies clear on your face and it feels really light it feels like honestly it's not even there it's pretty cheap I bought it off of Amazon I put this at the very end of the routine so after all of my moisturizers and stuff before I put on makeup if I were to rate this out of 10 I would rate this a 9 out of 10 because I love the consistency of it I love how light it feels it protects my skin but it doesn't smell like sunscreen it doesn't feel like sunscreen the only downfall for this is it's probably only meant to be for your face considering the size of the packaging and you probably wouldn't be able to use it on your whole body as sunscreen so I would probably use the cheap stuff for the rest of your body but other than that it's a pretty solid product and that's it these are our favorite skincare products. Let us know in the comments below what are your favorite products for your skincare routine. If you guys have any recommendations of products that you would like for us to use, let us know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and also check us out on Instagram. Our handle is 10.out of.10 and all of our other social media links will be linked down below. And until next time.